So it was the instruction of Paranga Sumer to continue with verse 68, and I happily, blindly follow uh, to read it and, uh, for the pleasure of uh, our dearest Gurudev and all the assembled devotees. Um, maybe for those uh, Guranga Sundar who, who were not able to attend last week, maybe we read the verse one more time with the risk that we might get stuck. That risk we take. Okay. Harupa Manjari Saki Pranayena Devim Tvat Bahodata Bhuja Valarim Ayatakshin Paschat Aham Kalita Tama Taranga Rangam Nishai Mikim Hari Vibhushita Keli Kunjam Oh my dear friend Rupa Manjari When when can I walk behind you? When you lovingly take white-eyed goddess Radhika, who is immersed in waves of desire, to the playground that is decorated by Sri Hari, as she holds her wine-like arm with yours. Shri Raghutanath Das Kuswami now arrives at the description of Shishi Radha Mohan's midday pastimes. Shri Raghunath's state of divine madness simply increases because of the intense pain of love and separation he feels. The Swarupa wish is his only support. In it, he can relish Swamini's form, qualities, and pastimes. In his Swarupa wish, he can relish Swamini's form, qualities, Past times. I'm just wondering what this means. There's no other way to relish Swamini's four qualities, past times, than being in Swarupa Yes. There's no way out. There's no other way? There is no other way out to relish Swamini past times. No way. Without Swami. So if, if we really want to feel, see, be with her, we have to develop our soul consciousness more and more. Right. Otherwise, it's only imagination. imagination. But we also need to start with imagining first Guru. Yes, that is important. For greed, we need that imagining. For greed, we need that imagination to, to develop the greed to come in Sarupa. Because of his divine madness of love, this madness will not come. Without Sadhu Power. Not that. 
Madness will not come without Sarupavesh Guru Dev is saying. When we become mad, we totally lose control, right, Guru Dev? No, no, desire for outside. No greed for any desire is not there. Your activity is in the external. You want to hide that person. This is the madness. Because of his divine madness of love, he is unable to find words to express his experiences. Whatever he could bring under words, he has revealed in his vilap Kusumanjali. Srimati Radhika will surely come to console he who is weeping over her and for whom she is everything and take him to her lotus feet. Who can be as merciful as she is? One of the hundred names Sri Raghunathas gives her is Karuna Vidravat Deha. She whose body melts out of compassion. Normally, only a person ha person's heart melts out of compassion, but Srimati makes her whole body melt. This is unheard of before. Sri Krishna will not give his mercy to one who does not worship him. He has said that himself in Bhagavad Gita, Ye tata mam pravadyanta tam tattva bhajami aham. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives prema even if he's rejected or insulted. Mahaprabhu gives prema even if he's rejected or insulted. He has become so merciful because he has accepted Swamiji's mood. I was just feeling like what stage of love one has to be that even when somebody offends you or is disrespectful to you, you still only want to give love to that person. This is really unheard of. Very incredible experience it must be. I've often seen also in the life of our Gurudev, how he has been to everyone who comes to him, and with which intensity of love he has approached taking care of people, even if sometimes somebody was not respectful to him or even offensive, he would never, never hold that against that person. So, it's saying here why Mahaprabhu has been so merciful because he, he has accepted Swaminichi's mood and her whole body is made out of compassion. When the divine madness 
comes when there is no envy in, anymore inside of you. You relish the most beautiful thing. You relish that. There is nothing higher. There is no envy towards anyone. And anyone who attacks you or criticizes you, you feel still, you feel compassion with that person. Like the Jesus on the cross, you say, Father, forgive them, they don't know what to do. What they do, they don't know what they do. So, imagine the, the experience of the saintly people who are relishing this divine rasa, how they see the fallen souls that they don't want to relish that, they don't want to accept that, they are not interested in spiritual life, they miss such great opportunity to relish something that also makes the heart soft to see the suffering and the rejection of that. And yourself, you're relishing so much, but nobody wants to get it. That also makes you little mad, I guess. So then there's only one chance. You have to give it freely. Mm. To share that, because you, you yourself, you feel very humble. You think how I I deserve this? How it came to me and not to the others? In the state of humbleness, you think here. Yeah, what was my endeavor to get it? So others should should also get that without any condition. So maybe, so maybe we can say actually that unless there is a bodily consciousness present in the life of person, he cannot be so much tolerant, he cannot be so much humble, and he is always exposed to offenses of others criticizing of others. So, Sadhu is the person who is not at all identified with his body, because he is deeply absorbed in his Swarup wish. This is his support, not, not bodily consciousness, material mind, intelligence, identification. So, he is not, in one sense, he is not from this world. He is living in this world, but he is not from this world. His shelter is his Swarup, Avish, identification with spiritual identity. And in so, spiritual identity, what happened? In your Sarup Aves, Yidh Dekhu, Tet Shammai. Means where I see, I see my Samani. My Ishtadev, in even the all living entity. For other is living entity, for the person, they not see that. They see Swami in all this. If he is in self power. Because the Manjali only can see Swami. Maybe she is teaching me, maybe she is guiding me, my mistake. 
he will not see bad from others coming. Maybe she sent this matches to Lord Shiva. This they will feel the mercy in that. That is then the real meaning of compassion, right? When I see my Ishtadev in every single entity and I only feel her love, then it's really compassion. And Buddha, you said it often to us that every moment is also a test. Like, where is my consciousness? how much I am actually really attached to serving her. I have this, my own experience that sometimes I feel very good. I feel, oh, today I did nice bhajan and then I walk out from my room. First person, I feel something happens, and, oh, I feel offended. Or I get, I get some like anger and I think, my God, where is this coming from? It's like, again, she's showing if you really want to be close with me, you have to also overcome this, you know. Like there cannot be a single, like single spot of this false ego in you. You have to, in every moment, feel the compassion which she has for all the living entities. Yes, always you have to practice to be in Loving. If not, then you will come in the Dharma the Kama Moksha. Mahaprabhu gives prema even if he's rejected or insulted. He has become so merciful because he has accepted Swamiji's mood. Wow. No more resistance, no more. Yeah, so how many more do we have? There is no difference between Chaitanya and Swami. I was just thinking about Swarupa Vesh. So Vesh means my clothes, my covering. So I have to not only inside practice my Swarupa, but also I have to cover all my senses, all my being with this. Actually, when we get the sarup, our waist color is also there. But I cannot meditate in that waist color, cloth color. Why this cloth color is there? To all senses, to, to is your covering. Your plastic body is your covering. That has to Colored in this pink color, that is space. Everything is your covering has to be some color by that color. Why coloring is there? Why age is there? Why nature is there? Why seva is there? It's a big meaning. All covering has to color. If it's not color, Sarupa will not stand. So, Guru, it means it's very important that we always meditate on this, our color, our seva, our age, our kunja. Right. 
Means get very soaked in the color. And bhajan is very easy for us to Because bhajan makes you to flow in that. If the association is the Sajat, same. Thank you. Then it may be asked. But it is said in Lagu Bhagavatamrita, there may be many descents of the lotus navel Vishnu that are blessed in all respects. But who else but Krishna bestows love on even the wines and other inert creatures? But Krishna acts like that only with the people of Braj, when he is Radhika's heart's friend. He becomes so luscious and sweet when he gets the love of Prema Mayim Radha. This is like me. This is like being in Munge Mandir for the first time. So many people coming, little stiff in the beginning, but they come in the influence here and they just they stay and automatic after some time become more soft, more sweet, more loving, like as if you have to leave all your controlling nature. Outside of Vrindavan, Krishna is <clears throat> the God, the controller. But when he come in the influence of Raja, then he leaves all that and he also become very sweet, kind, soft, playful. But only because he is in the influence of Radharani. So I feel like Munge Mande sometimes also working like this, no? People coming and after some time, nature is changing completely. Very beautiful, I think a very living example of how uh, one gets attracted to this luscious and sweet mood because it's the land of Swamini, Raj. So, Every corn of dust, every plant, everything is infused by the bhav, the prema mai radha. So when Krishna, the neighbor, whatever Vishnu, lotus neighbor Vishnu descends, he gets so changed, his heart changes because he becomes the friend of Radhika. So if we associate with the dasis of Radharani, in the, who are in this Braj mood, then this also spills over to us. I often see when like Rasika, Vaishnavas come and, and meet Gurudev here, how sweet they're exchanging their talks. Like it's like uh, you see butter melting in front of you. You know, it's just uh, dripping, like it's so, uh, yeah, amazing to experience this sweetness of exchange and feelings. And this is only possible, it's saying, with the people of Braj. So we have to follow the people of Braj. This is then 
the Raga Mark. Raja. So nice. In Vrindavan, nothing is about to get something done. <laughs> Everything is about just to exchange feelings. Wow. Yesterday, I, we went shopping with Raza Madhuri. We went to a job. I bought some books. So money change. <laughs> he gave me change money. He start counting 10 rupee. One, two, three. Slowly counting, counting. He gave me 10, 12, 10 rupee notes. So six of them were garbage. I start counting. Select one out, next out. But everything was so sweet. He smiled. I smile, then I give back the six notes. <laughs> he gave me six new, three of them back hours. <laughs> so I count again, three like this. Five minutes we take just to pay some books. But everything in the bar. <laughs> it's very beautiful. So it's nothing about getting something done. And going down is just to exchange feelings. That was very beautiful to see yesterday, so I rather. But this takes time to understand the mood of the bridge bus is no good. Yeah. In the beginning, when we come to Vrindavan, we come with a very stiff mind and attitude. And we, we want to get things done. We want to get things done. We think uh, they want to cheat us, you know. We, we come with a bit more condescending attitude, but Gurudev has always, from the beginning, told us that we always have to beg the mercy of the bridge buses. Because for them, Radha and Krishna are not God and Goddess. They're their Kanu and their little Lali. They have totally different mood and feelings towards Radha and Krishna here in Vrindavan. And so the mercy is even getting false notes from them is the mercy of the Vrindavan to make us more humble and more surrender. No good. Yeah. It takes time to understand the Vrindavan. And they also test, one person told me, a Vrindavan, but they will test you. First, they will test you. They will see, okay, are you really Pakka? You really you want this mark, Raga mark? You really want to be follow the Raj Basis? They will test you in many ways. They will check you. You will not even know, but they know everything about you. If you go to the market, you think they don't know you, but they know everything. They know who you are, where you come from, which ashram you belong, who is your guru they, you know. What is the mood of your Gurudev? Your Gurudev is a Rasik Vaishnava or he's following Vaidhi Bhakti. They know everything. Like I sometimes am so surprised. I hardly go to the market. There's a reason. Um, but when I go, they know everything. When I came, where I was, they know how Gurudev is. And they know who came to Mandir Mandir last night. And I was like, really? Like, so. There's a special mercy in the Vrijvasis, some very special mercy, because they're so close to the land and, of course, to the ones who are dancing on this land, Radha and Mohan. So we have to always take their blessings when we come and never, never judge them. It's very important. And never make any offense to Vaishnavas and to the Vrijvasis, because they are the real residents of this Rajabhumi and we have to beg that we also become residents and get the mood. With this nectarian form, 
and flute song. He infused prema even in the trees, wines, animals, birds, stones, and clouds. Srimad Bhagavad clearly describes how Mohan bestows prema on all the vines, trees, birds, deer, and waters of Braj, but not to any creature from elsewhere. The Lord of Dwarka tells his principal queen, Satyabhama, I enchant all the inert creatures in Braj with love, with my wonderful form, my dress, and the nectarian sound of my flute. What to speak of the people there? I'm still here in Dwarka, but now I cannot make even my own relatives and the Yadavas attain such a mood. I'm unable to play such funny, joking pastimes here. So Gurudev, for those who are outside of Brajamut, it's very difficult to make them like go more in these loving, sweet feelings. But then I'm so surprised because when you were traveling for 20 years, you met all of us who were not in Braja mood. But you had such a wonderful way of infusing it to all of us. In all mercy of the mercy makes me to hold that mood. To share to this Kripa. So, means Krishna cannot do this outside of Raj, but Radha Rani can do it everywhere. That's your this Krishna cannot do to hold that. This Guru Kripa do to hold it. Holding is a Guru Kripa of fixing to the East Dev is also Guru Kripa. Navigator marks. How to hold is Guru saying, how much is weight, how to put one person or two person may require to hold this, how to hold it and how to travel it is a navigator job. If I lose the navigator, I cannot travel. If I think I am doing, it is not well. Then we break down. I never leave. I always keep my view there that he is giving, representing the present. I pray him and he is sharing. And I also rise. So if you see my glasses, the same thing I am talking. Never I change my subject. <laughs> you see, the subject is the same subject. Again and again, different words I use and repeating them. 
that people become is a new and fresh. But is no subject I change. Because this Guru Kripa makes me to hold it one subject. And this is the real subject. And the devotees who can connect to this mood, they feel they feel attracted to that. And others who are searching for information, they will come and but they will disappear after some time. Because you're not <laughs> giving information. And I'm not interested in information. Yeah. Information is a basic to receive to realize it. Yeah. Basic requirement, but realize one realizes that if I not realize one information, many gather, it become heavy bundle of the sticks. You cannot realize one thing, Baruru, it still is going on. In the Russian lecture, we read today, O Baruru. Still, I'm moving. Still, Guru Dev, thinking that. So, so I, I just wanted to mention that always, also in all the years when Guru Dev was traveling, he always he invited everyone to bring down. Mm -hmm. He had never any ambition to open one center, one temple elsewhere in the world to keep devotees there following his instructions. I only remember one instruction, when you come to Vrindavan, why are you not coming to Vrindavan? Stay more in Vrindavan. Extend your tickets. <laughs> Cancel your program. Uh -huh. Come to Vrindavan. Like this is the only teaching of Gurudev. <laughs> so meaning is twenty cents. <laughs> so much faith by experience, by realization, and the power of the Dham. That being here automatically change you. If you like what today near Aparat? Near Aparat and we do unknowingly mistakes, so we are missing Prima. But I noticed that, that you never have the ambition to open any center or something like that. And I was thinking, ah, why? Hmm? Only invite to Vrindavan. So now, after many years, I understand why you are teaching this in this way. The next sentence actually confirms what Varachandra was just saying, that Guru always was lovingly pressing us, you have to come to Vrindavan, you have to come to Vrindavan. Elsewhere, there's some reservation in the bestowal of mercy, but in Varaj, there's only causeless mercy. Quintessence. <laughs> Costless mercy. Come to Vrindavan. <laughs> this is the point. You will search mercy out of Vrindavan. Here you come, you will get the mercy without 
first. And we deny to take. No, no, I cannot eat. I'm full. Okay. But you are see was okay, no problem. But you said to Brajivasi anything. He will never say that they, they're coming from eating. But Brajivasi said, okay, they will open the clothes and say, mind it here, I will go in the evening, I will be. They will never say, no, I will not say. If you imagine, Gurudev asked me, come and take prasad, and I said, no, that day. What you want to give me, must be in the form, form of prasad. And I said, no. But Ramji said, no, he's crying whole life. And I'm so strong, very bhakta at that time, that I cannot take prasad without completing my chanting, Diksha Mantra. And one like Harinam. And that they have to eat without going to toilet or brush that. His love, I cannot say no. And what must be flow without doing no effort, long time. I receive all must. Because he understands that he is so much in Maya, he born in the Maya. Without giving mercy, he cannot come out from that. He is always ready to give. He does He wants to give, but we not accept to receive. No need any preparation for that. Is a causeless mercy. You no reason of that. No season for that. Because of his love, we want to do that. But we never pray to it in that. And believe me, I don't say anything. When he inspired his words coming to me, he did not say, I don't say All his mercy is still is happening in my life. Sri Rajya. The touch of Swaminiji's love has kept Mohan so sweet all this time. Although in Braj, during the ancient manifest pastimes, this could not be grasped. Now that Krishna took her mood and luster, to become Gora, he revealed the greatness of her 
cause this compassion to everyone. Explain, Rosanna. Your words also. Radhe, Radhe, Gurudev. It's so nice finally to listen you. <laughs> your words and your silence also. It is so sweet. So I will try. So this compassion nature of Srimati Radhika is so intoxicated that because of that even Krishna is so intoxicated. I don't understand the word of compassion. Can you explain us what is the meaning of compassion? Gurudev, no, there's please. a Shastrik Shastric meaning is that someone. Classic no, meaning. Ah, Rasic meaning is a different. <laughs> Rasic meaning. It means that someone is so much in love, burning with the love, that his body is melting to give the pleasure to be loved. And it means compassion to be loved. Radhika's body is melting out of love for Krishna. And he is melting because of her burning love. And her burning love is also melting the manjaris. It's like a molten gold which is just flowing and flowing and flowing and flowing, full of anurag and desire to give her love to everyone, especially to beloved Mohan. And because of that love, he is giving, he is intoxicating, and he is trying to be compassion by giving the love to the grass, to the stones, to the other living beings of Vraja. But without Radhika's compassionate burning love, which she is pouring in her heart, she ca he cannot do it. He is useless. He is stunned. He only has desires to enjoy, 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 enjoy. But when he receives this Kripa Shakti, this compassion Shakti out of burning love from Radhika, then even he is becoming compassion to the others. So this Kripa is more prominent in Vraja, especially in Gora Lila, more prominent than these desires which Krishna has in his heart. So this compassion out of burning, passionate love of Radhika for Krishna is spreading in all spiritual and material worlds. We see that in a different ways, to help the others, compassionate for the suffering of the others, but actually the source of this compassion is the melting the heart of Radhika and all her body out of her own love for him. This is the source of compassion. And all Vraja 
and Rajavasis, moving and unmoving entities, are melting. Because gold is melting. Super soul, <laughs> Super soul Gurudev is then going directly to Vraja. It's not independent. Super soul is melting, and out of this melting helps Jiva to approach to Vraja out of compassion. Super soul is melting to melt the soul also. Yes. And when the soul is already melted, there is no place for super soul anymore. The super soul done it, his job because devotee finally becomes devotee in his Swarupvesh and in his heart he doesn't have a super soul. He has his beloved Ishtadev. So this is the compassion, ultimate compassion of Radhika which, like you said, even influenced the super soul, Vishnu. <laughs> Everywhere. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took this mood. Sorry, Gurudev. No, no. You say, uh, say, say, I'm brief. No, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took this mood of Radha Bhav. And he was completely drowning and diving in this compassionate, loving mood. And because of that, he doesn't accept insults. He doesn't accept any offenses because he is melting out of compassion to everyone. But because he took Radha's mood, Radha's bow. And devotees who are really understand who is Goranga never wants to disturb the mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that he is Radhika. Prabhupada said that. And neither the soul will melt. I am telling this. When soul will feel that the when super soul is melting, and then soul will start melting, that is Pancham Prasad. Soul. Yeah. That is Pancham Prasad. Not only Krishna is melting. I have to melt to be in always loving. That is Pancham Pusha. To go for the higher six efforts. Well, how I can change? When the, he, Krishna can change, how I will change when I am not in the mood of Pancham Pusha? Then how I will move for six efforts? How I will move for seven efforts? But I am not melting. Super soul is melting and I am not melting. So when Swamini's compassion becomes so intense that Mohan himself is enchanted, he doesn't understand, and then it spills over and there appears Mahaprabhu. And this is the only way for the Jiva to melt, no? Without Mahaprabhu's appearance, how could we how can we any chance to melt? We would just remain stones. Right. 
previous ages, devotees were also melting. Ah, but more. not, but not for Madhurya Rasa, and not to be servants of Madhurya Rasa. They want to be in active mood in Madhurya Rasa. But by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we, fallen souls of Kali Yuga, this is real compassion, have opportunity to have desire to become maid servants of Madhurya Rasa in on the side of Shimata Radharani, like a manjaris. Prema is melting the heart. But like Gurudev said, now is the next step in which relationship? This is the sixth effort to fix own relationship, which is beyond gunas, even beyond shuddha sattva, transcendence. And many devotees of Krishna are on this stage of Vishuddha Sattva because they, because of Prema, they have established their relationship with the Lord. But very few lucky persons are asking themselves and they are not satisfied with this position. What is the next? Where, go, where they go? In Gunas. Back in Gunas. Back in Guna. <laughs> this is the secret. <laughs> Back in Guna. To attain seventh effort. <laughs> this is the mystery of Manjari Bhav. This is the mystery of Manjari Bhav. <laughs> and it's not easy to understand. And it's not easy to accept at all. Would it always saying that the kingdom of love is bigger than the kingdom of God? And in the Vrindavan Leela, he has written that Krishna is very sweet. He gives mercy to the trees and the lands and everything. But only because he was in the influence of Srimati Radhika, he was in her love. But that was not revealed. Baba writing here. That was not revealed to the world. That actually is the power of Radharani that even makes God very sweet and full of compassion. The Paramatma is not in that sense compassionate. It's neutral, no? just watching what the Jiva is doing and providing what the jiva de, uh, desires and deserves according to karma. So, yeah, only after the appearance of Mahaprabhu, he could understand that um, it is her compassion that makes God mad and also melting the heart of the jivas. To practice in Krita. 
to come out from uh, gunas. Then, when we practice in Prema Purusha, then we go to the six efforts. This is six. Say. What is the six answer? Vishuddha Sattva, relationship, strong relationship, I am yours and you are mine. In that way, devotee is completely situated. And the most devotees would Narada, Pralada, Bhishma, and so on and so on, they are on that platform with more and less prema. But the seventh effort, Gurudev can, can continue with. Rasa yeah. That is my Swami, I am your person. You are the Swami of Super Soul. You are the He is learning from you, Super Soul. You melting him. I am his part and parcel of one item. Uh, 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 atom, atom. Anu. Melt me also. I am his parcel. So, Gurudev, this means that before Mahaprabhu's appearance, the Pancham Purushat, the quintessence of the Jiva was not revealed. It was, but we don't understand this. Because it was there, Krishna is there, Radhika is there, but nobody opened this. It was all happening before all. But for Jiva not understanding Kriya, because Super Soul, still we are reading Krishna, Krishna, but we not see, only we think that Krishna is taking the mood of Radhika. Are Krishna not? What about the atom? Small molecule, what he has to do? He has to be marginal. He has to be independent. I condition. Is it not for Krishna? Is it teaching for us? When Super Soul is doing this, took the mood of Radhika, means all item of the Super Soul has to take the mood of Radhika. Or not? All, all the Anu, all the molecules. And if you want to be a Dasi of Pradhika, then he has to not come down in the Gunas. 
he has to always live in the Pancham Prasad. That practice is not a philosophy. That has to practice, that is the Bhajan Kriya. That action and behavior is my Bhajan Kriya. Shravan and Kirtan. That, that sadhana has to practice, right? Krishna can do and at the super soul. We just fell out for a minute, but Gorachandra was just uh, saying that maybe 5,000 years ago we were not fallen enough, so that's why it was not so clearly revealed. Gurudev replied that it's in here and now. In this moment, every moment it can happen, by the causeless mercy, through the... When I realize is the moment. When I realize is the moment. When will this moment come? Appearance day is coming. Why? When I re realize the appearance, that is appearance day. Mm -hmm. Is it divine? It was, it is, it will be. That's a divine. The touch of Swaminiji's love has kept Moha. I will try to read instead of Gopinath, and when he comes again, then he will continue. So. The touch of Swaminiji's love has kept Krishna so sweet all this time. Although in Vraja, during the ancient manifest pastimes, this could not be grasped. Now that Krishna took her mood and luster to become Gora, he revealed the greatness of her causeless compassion to everyone. She is by nature, okay? Yeah. Now you are again, okay. Very okay. I'm thinking you, yeah. Without you, nothing happened. No. Say, yeah, you have to explain. What, Gurudev? I don't know what. We didn't hear you. I, I read few sentences because we were waiting. We didn't know what to do yeah. without you. And that Babaji one press I, my spiritual body is conceived. Mentally conceived. Mentally conceived. I got the spiritual body. What, what the word? Mentally conceived spiritual body. Yeah, mentally we can see my spiritual body. Conceived means uh, like getting a baby. Baby. Then I can get my spiritual body. How to mentally conceive, yeah. can you explain it? First of all, we have to have desire to, to attain certain and define the goal. And for that attaining that goal, we need the spiritual body. By the mercy of Shimati Radharani, she is sending us spiritual master who is her representative 
to give us instructions, mantras, how to come to Shrimati Radhika and become her maidservants. But this is not complete without Siddha Pranali. So this Siddha Pranali, is, we can say, is the third initiation. When devotee is initiated, he is introduced. Without this Siddha Pranali, all this Nama and Diksha Mantras are not complete in the life of Sadaka. But when Sadaka receives Siddha Pranali, which is most important thing, it's combined all mantras, all instructions, and helping devotee to meditate on these different items of Siddha Pranali. What is my name? What is the color of my body? What is the cloth which Radhika, with her own hands, through my Guru Manjari, gave to me? This cloth actually is Radharani's Prashad, Radharani's cloth. This blouse touch her body and now touch her breasts. Touch her shoulders, arms, hips, belly. This cloth is full of Radhika's emotions. And with her own hands, she gave to my Guru Manjari. That I wear this. She gave me the age, proper age, because she wants me to serve her in that age. It's not my desire. It's her desire for her pleasure. She wants me that I have certain name, Tulsi Manjari, like Raghunath is, and so on. She wants to call me Tulsi Manjari, not that I call myself Tulsi Manjari. This is her desire. And when devotee accept all these attributes of Swarup and start to meditate, identifying himself, he is starting to conceive with his mind, using his mind, he is started to conceive his spiritual body. Yeah. Until... More, more, say more. Until the moment, and he's going through different phases, through this bhajan, through this bhajan kriya. That, this is real bhajan kriya. Inner bhajan kriya. And when this conceived body is condensed with pure bhavas. When I say pure bhavas, it means bhavas of manjari bhav, not other bhavas. Then he starts to see himself more clearly and more clearly and more clearly. Then this body is not any more conceived body. It's grown up body. Why we say grown up body? Because devotee who is absorbed in his spiritual identification accepts himself. This body is already grown up. 
But devotee starts to conceive like a baby, like Gopinath and Gurudev said. To develop and to condense this feeling in his heart. When these feelings are condensed, the heart is becoming more and more pure. When the heart is becoming more pure, condensation are, is thicker and thicker and thicker. And finally, he understood one thing. This is not my endeavor. This is Kripa. I received this mental conceived body like a form of Kripa and I received the strength to meditate and I received more stronger and burning desire to attain ultimate goal because I want to see myself I first is I without I there is no mind first I I am this and that Manjari one and thing I am you say yeah. and I am standing behind my Guru Manjari and my Swami. So important, I, I just wanted to say this, that importance is that we should establish myself like a manjari. And this means I. I know who I am. The same principle is materi in material world. When child is born, is conceived, first is conceived, then is born, and then parents with their love and words and behavior is giving him identification. I will stop. <laughs> Sorry. Internet is broken. My mind is broken. So I should wait. Connection. Radhe, Radhe, I have one question, Goranga Sundar. Okay, sure, G. You said, uh, you said um, the practitioner can then put the, the spiritual identity will be conceived by the help of the mind. What is the meaning of this? How to understand? Uh, as I understood the question, we need the mind. This is our tool for meditation to conceive our spiritual identity. Without mind, with what we will conceive, with what we will imagine, and be identified. With, without mind, <clears throat> what is a baby? 
it will be sociopath. It will be completely out of any psychological rules. It will be crazy without mind. Because through the mind, ego is expressing himself to help the person to identify. So the same tool, mind, material mind, we need this Guna's body. Mind. Guna's mind. Guna's mind. That's the point. <laughs> Who is in Guna, their mind is uh, controlled by falsehood. Yes. Yeah. Who live in Guna, they are controlled by falsehood. Who is in effort in Panchampur start, they have no control of falsehood. They are crossover. This is quintessence. We are practicing quintessence. What is the prompt? Quintessence. Essence. Quintessence. Fifth efforts. One baby, Italian baby, say about that. Is a quintessence when fifth effort. I said, What? He said, Yes, he's an Italian written quintessence when fifth effort, not fourth effort. I don't know. Since that is Italian, he can say. It's Latin. Latin means Italian also, which he was Italian. He says, see, find out quintessence when fifth, fifth effort. It's not fourth effort people are look, living. They are in gunas. They cannot afford doing the fifth effort. Then false ego is catching to them. When we just fell out for a minute, Burde was just sharing that, like, we have to cover our Siddhadeya with the prashadi which we receive from Radharani through Guru Manjari to Guru Devi, like our name, our age, our dress, our seva, our nature. And then Gurudev was saying, similarly, also in Sadhakdeya, we also have to cover like ourselves with this? No, like, no, no, no. In Siddha Deha, my one more Avaran is there. That is my body also. Is also cover of the my Siddha Deha. What about that clothes? That is also one of the clothes. My senses are also covered to me. They can bring me to Gunas again back. Condensed means that has to be also covered with the same color, in same flavor. That Gopinath is that. Same nature also. Same nature. That to condense. But this is perfection. That is perfection. Wow, this is so beautiful sharing. We say that has to be also color in the same color. In my Siddha Deha color, my body has to color. Means my desire has to color. The false ego entry is closed. My senses is color. In the flavor of my somni, all is blocked. This means when Antaranga becomes Vairanga Guruji. Antaranga becomes so enlightened that it becomes Chatrahi. Sadhak Seva, Sadhak Rupena, Chitra, Chitra Rupena Chatrahi. His umbrella, I covered with my umbrella. 
no heat, cold and winter can touch me, rain can touch me. Is a chhatri hima samrala. Siddha rupena chhatri. Cover to all things. That has to condense. How I will condense on the thinking and not expanding? Beautiful Gopinath put this point very nice. There is no chance to go back in the gunas. Do not do practice, they will sure go to back in gunas. Their human nature, ego nature. <laughs> share, more share. Chandra, also before when we fell out for two minutes, the Gurudev was sharing about this mentally conceived body. And then Gorachandra was asking Gurudev, like, like this union, Gurudev was explaining, no, like when you conceive a baby, there has to be union between the man and the woman. So, how is the process then Gurudev described for the mentally conceived spiritual body, Gorachandra? You you, you, no, got you, it. Like, you you got it with the rati. Yeah. Yeah. Not realize, just it appeared and it was gone again. In the material, how does babies receive the male and the female have to unite? And this union happens by a rati. Gurudev explained, when we want to receive, conceive our spiritual body, then Rati also must be there. We have to be greedy and lusty for that. Otherwise, we have mentally conceived it, like information, but it will grow by the greed. This rati has to be there, then it will be realized. That was my understanding. It must be rati for Guru. And this union, Sri Guru Charane Rati, brings that this mental conceived body becomes more and more condensed. It's not like a goal, like Guru Dev is saying, but this is a relationship with full of rati. Following the mood, following the flow of one mellow of Guru Dev. This is, this kind of following is helping that conceived body is not just on the paper, on, like Gora Chandra said, on the mind platform, but to be more grow and grow and growing and growing and to condensed. So this Rati, thank you Gora Chandra and Gurudev, is the essence Without Rati, there is no rasa. Any rasa. Hey, rasa. <laughs> Why does this, can this deep Rati come from the, like when can this deep attachment come into our mind that we only want this and nothing else anymore. This is also through Kripa, no? See, Guru Chandra. <laughs> this Rati comes from the 
mana what you say inheritance 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 the inherited any any material body inherit from his parents mm-hmm. or not yes if the mother and father has some property he inherit without bothering anything they call judge call and he gets a come you have a property take it so you don't know or you maybe know but you have to call come to you to inherit this yeah that's yeah i got called yeah in here is your father i didn't know so that. this is the call will come to us wow. you in it because you are born in this you have to receive it you have to take it no way for that you cannot take it Yeah, oh, uh, uh, this is this is the guru channel this is the power of lineage yes of heritage heritage one is the material heritage one is the spiritual heritage Thank you, Gurudev. It was so nice. Thank you, Gopinath. Thank you very much. You, you can continue, sir. Next Saturday, if you have a time, please. It gets more sweeter and sweeter. Yeah. More dance this verse yeah i think so. maybe we can attempt by mercy of guru dev and vaishnavas yes. another a third uh, the trilogy third part of this verse okay thank you for no, one thing i want to say share because you are here about baruru yeah. <laughs> i am very condensed now what is going on and on oh, i cannot okay. block it wow. flowing wow. share something with you. Share. read the page that yes overall no no Over-all. you find this when krishna want putting the um, garland and is breaking it's breaking that time the six yeah mm. okay five minutes on the live one is the, about the what asura arista sura arista sura the killer of arista sura is a big demon who can change outer outer face something to show that i am a cow and and this bull you cannot kill me but inside sura asura is sitting and he is very powerful nobody can kill him means in and out to face and second quality he is very heavy that killer krishna krishna himself in the front of baruru he cannot win there he losing himself we think that he is the most the strongest person 
But here, my son, she is so baruru. When she make her thai, what? Thai. 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 He cannot do anything. <laughs> he has failed that. He is all trying effort, putting garnet is baking. He is one time, not many times he want to put the garnet. All is broken. Means he is not become successful. But you know why Guru did also? Because Rupa and Rati are fanning so that Radharani Skanda, her smell goes in his nostrils and then he's fading. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but he cannot do what he likes. Because he made the thigh very tight. He is firmly bound by her thighs. <laughs> he and there is one. Yeah, exactly. there is. True. <laughs> Gurudev, she tries to press her thighs together. Yes. And in this way, she breaks another string of the flower garland. Yes. So many. Another means many happen. Another Mohan means. stays between <laughs> Varoru's ties. Yeah, this is a very deep meaning. Yeah. Come yeah. <laughs> he go in and in is very deep meaning. Meditate all night. Sadera. Thank you. He asked him, uh, Radha Govinda to explain this. I said, sorry, I cannot explain this. Radha you have to... Huh? No, 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 Radha Govinda. Oh. I said, I will not explain this. Yeah, very good. You have to go in to unrealize it. Yeah. It's not every line is to explain. There are. 